Hi, thanks. Hello. Any rapists or pedophiles in tonight? No? <laughs> Boy, the porn industry misjudged the market, didn't they? Someone should tell them. No one here has fantasies about rape. Nobody finds all those bold vaginas splashed across the centerfold of Hustler remotely stimulating, and none of us get a warm, tingly feeling watching Britney schoolgirl video. Hmm. Or those sexy centrinians. Hmm. They were all big mistakes by the purveyors of erotica and porn. Wait a minute, though. Those products do sell, in their millions. Porn is very popular, and overflowing with pigtailed babysitters succumbing to daddy's dick. Sexy schoolgirls blowjobbing lollipops, bold twat pictures roll off the presses in porn mags by the million. I'm confused. I did some research and discovered the number one sexual fantasy of both male and females is rape. Of course, it's idealized rape with gradual submission and no forensic aftermath, but it's rape nonetheless. More research reveals that beauty is now defined by youth. That is to say that our culture believes the measure of a beautiful person is how young they are. So, welcome to a world where exploiting human sexuality for money relies upon the desire to rape children. Nice. By the way, if there are any real rapists or pedophiles watching, don't. Okay? Have a wank or something. Really, use your imagination. Perhaps you think that rape or abuse of children is only carried out by satanic pedophiles or Catholic priests. Oh, wait a minute. They're, they're the same thing, really. The fact is 99% of children are abused in their homes by their fathers, uncles, grandfathers, or other extended family members, and most rape victims know their attacker. That being the case, I offer the following solutions to the problem of sexual violence. Number one, stop selling sex. No, I don't mean ban it. I mean allow nudity and sex in the media anywhere, anytime, all the time, until we're bored of it. That's it. We've, it's just no longer interesting. Two, educate children to have the vocabulary and confidence to say, Daddy makes me suck his dick. And finally, get over it. Sex is why we're here. There's nothing bad or that good about sex, really. It's just skin rubbing together, leading to the release of some chemicals and bodily fluids. It's part of our life and shouldn't be a top-shelf money spinner for porn vendors. We are surrounded and bombarded by erotic images at every turn and in every imaginable location, each image competing with the last to be more alluring, more captivating, more stimulating than the last. But not quite stimulating enough, because advertisers don't actually want you to orgasm or to be satisfied. In fact, they want you in a state of permanent sexual agitation. If you'd actually come, you'd no longer pay attention. You'd roll over and go to sleep. Even in the world of public space and family entertainment, sexual stimulation is ever-present. Adverts for all sorts of rubbish feature nubile females giggling and touching each other and pouting incessantly. Billboards with breasts, web cameras with bums, pop videos with raga booty shaking in your face. Does anybody else wish sometimes in those videos they would just fuck the bitch? Really, whenever I see a video like that, I'm shouting for some action. Come on, whip it out and stuff it in. Fuck that booty. What kind of show is this? Because I'm tired. I'm tired of having my dick exploited to get my attention and then leaving me with nothing. Unless you're going to finish the job, leave my dick alone. I'd like them to create advertising so powerful it could reach out of the page or screen and jerk me off. Yeah, how about that? I'd be walking through the mall and see a picture of such sexual wizardry, I'd just come in my pants. Oh, the new BMW. Oh, oh, oh. Now that's effective marketing. And how about this for a refreshing pop video? Lady Gaga's new tune comes on the telly. She's wearing nothing but makeup. Her dancers are a troupe of Swedish lesbians wearing strap-on dildos. They fill every hole in her body with latex dong, wearing her like a pencil top toy. Then, in the finale, a man appears, fucks her in the ass and shoots in her face. Now that's entertainment. No half measures, no holding back, no prurient top shelf hypocrisy. If you're gonna cover our world in sex, then fuck the bitch. We'll all feel better for it. 
But that's not gonna happen. Why? Because if you gave sex away for free and nobody thought it was special or interesting or entertaining at all, what use would it be in exploiting us? None at all.